Hello, this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing my movie theory as usual, and this one is going to be for the Interstellar Timeline. So yeah, it's been about three weeks since the movie came out, I'm close to a month, so I assume most of everybody has seen it. Um, so yeah, basically this is the Interstellar Timeline, so I found, I found this while I was surfing the web um, a couple weeks back, and I thought it would be interesting by, you know, you know, I should save it for... When a wider audience has finally seen the movie, it's been about a month, three weeks, more or less. So I think it's about time this video gets done. Um, so essentially, it's basically a picture, um, to say the least, but it's a pretty cool picture, um, as well. Basically, it shows the whole interstellar timeline, and I'm not really gonna get, um, in depth with it right at the moment because it's, you know, as you can tell, it's all weird and stuff. It's like graphed out and stuff. Um, you know, there's like notations on the side and everything, but but it basically shows the the timeline of er of every single main character. Um, in the corner, you could see you know the timelines. Um, red means Cooper, orange means Murph, yellow means Amelia, um, light green light green means Romilly, um, dark green means Doyle, um, baby blue means Tars, dark blue means Professor Brand. Um, purple mean means man. Uh, a dark orange or a dark orange or brown. I can't really tell. Means Miller, and then gray means Edmund. So yeah, it basically tells the whole story of every single everybody in this in this timeline. So it's a pretty cool thing. So yeah, just to explain it a bit, you know, just to show you guys a bit. Um, it has the notations, and you know, it also shows shows all the time skips, all the warps. Um, all the war wormholes and the warp times and whatever. So it's pretty cool, you know. It shows when everybody dies or if they're gonna die. Um, what happens to everybody at the end? And yeah, you know, it talks about a bit in the te of the, what's happened. It was in the Tesseract towards the end of the movie. Um, it talks about Edmund's world, Man's world, the Miller's world, um, and the wormholes. You know what more or less happened there. And what you know, the time dilations, um, the time you know, like for Miller's role, it says 61,000 time dilation factor, but uh, so yeah, um, and then the other two are like negligible, which means you know, not announced or whatever, or non applicable. Um, you have the wormholes, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's really complicated, so I'm not really gonna get into it, I just think it's really cool, but it does give you a basic idea of how many years it took, um, for this whole mo movie theoretically to be made, you know, um, the time span of what the movie will be. I mean, within 23 years, it says Cooper, Cooper's kids grow up and start families with their own, become farmers, Tom becomes a farmer while Murph becomes a NASA professor, um, you know, several hours, more or less, it says, on his deathbed, Professor Brand admits that Pan A was alive, the quantum gravity equation was unsolvable with the data he had. Murphy is devastated but is determined to preserve it or something. Then it says 65 years. Um, using Tars data, Murph successfully solves the quantum gravity equation. Gravity, yeah, gravity manipulating technology is developed to lift Plan A into space, signaling the start of mankind's exodus to the stars. Humanity's far flung descendants continue to. You know, work basically eventually learn how to directly manipulate space time and other higher um, dimensions. They build the wormhole and the tesseract, sending them back to the proper point initially to create a stable temporal loop. And then several days later, Cooper and Tars steal a rugger from Cooper Station and go through the wormhole to reunite with Amelia. So that's what it says kind of on the side. So it's pretty cool. Just to guys give you an idea. So as I said before, I'm not really going to get into in deep too in deep with it, but I thought it was pretty cool just to show you guys, um, because, you know, that, w the confusion with the timeline was something that many people were confused about, and w uh, one of the major negatives with the movie, um, and also because the pacing kind of goes hand in hand, so I think this kind of fixes that issue a bit, you know, shows you exactly about how long, how, you know, how many years it took, um, within the, you know, how, how many years it is within the movie, it's about 65 years, 
to about 100 years. Here it says 65, but some people argue that it could be 100, it could be 75, it could be 85, it could be 90, 92, whatever. Um, so yeah, but this just gives you a basic idea. I always thought it was about 65, 75 years, somewhere there. Um, so, I mean, also when you consider that Michael, McCon Michael McConaughey's character, Cooper, he left when he was about um, 45. Um, and when he returned, or when he, when every, at, towards the end, they said he's about 125. So that should be about, what, 65, 75 years, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that, or 70 years. I mean, 45, let's see. 100. That's 80 years. So, you know, close enough. So, yeah, makes perfect sense, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, that's basically it for this video. We just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the timeline of Interstellar. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, comment down below your thoughts on the um, timeline. Do you think it's more than the actual timeline that it says or not? You know, um, definitely do take a screenshot to take a um, better look at it if you guys want. Feel free to do it. I got no problems with it. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I usually, you know, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, comic book reviews, and every week I do a movie theory. So definitely stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below your thoughts on. Uh, you know, on the theory, you know, what are your thoughts on it? Comment all that down below. Let me know, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mark signing off.